this is Phaedra from Noble Flowers and today we've got a really cool video. We've got a comparison between the Agri Wall and the Oasis Floral Foam. I'll just put some gloves on. This is the Oasis Floral Foam and you've probably seen it everywhere you can get the wet and the dry one. This is the wet one. It is highly toxic and it's not good for the environment and I don't like using it. I don't like touching it. There's a lot of um, health warnings that if you read through the information on different sites, even the ones that sell it, they warn you about um, not to breathe it in, not to touch it. Don't use it in areas where you're preparing food or eating. Uh, it won't break down afterwards. It's essentially a plastic. And what happens is I believe it becomes like a micro plastic in the soil and the water, which has a lot of um, bad environmental problems from that. So let me just check my notes. Um, okay, so a couple of the ingredients, formaldehyde, phenyl and carbon black and small concentrations of the carbon black and the formaldehyde can cause cancer. So that's kind of what we're working with here. Um, it's saying it's degradable, but not biodegradable. So it does break down, but it breaks down into something that will never disappear. And that's those microplastics. So that's why I wear gloves. Now the Agra wool, you don't have to wear gloves for this, but the feel of it is actually, if you've ever worked with insulation for your, for your home, that's what it feels like. So it makes me wonder, am I going to get itchy from it? So let's just, that's actually already pretty irritating, but um, let me just come in with a close up. It is very fibrous. So much like a heavier, denser block of house insulation. It degrades into rock dust. So while it's not fully biodegradable, it does actually break down to something that's safe for the environment. So you can add that into your soils. Look at this light that's coming. <laughs> I've set up and the sun's just come through the right spot, but I think it's pretty like it. Ah. Anyway, so it's safe in the waterways. The binding agent is um, based on sugar. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens after we use this. It also says do not inhale, but I think it's because of those um, small fibers. It's the same with a lot of things. You don't want to get those into your lungs. So don't go sniffing it. So first things first, we're going to see how they go with soaking them. And I've only got the one tub, so we're going to do one at a time. The Oasis should take only about a minute to soak. And so the proper way to soak is to just pop it in the water, just sit it on the water and just let it sink to the bottom. If you push on it and push it down to try to force the water in, it's going to leave air pockets on the inside. And when you cut it open, um, the, there's going to be parts of that foam that aren't actually... Um, waterlogged so then if you poke your flowers into that section they're going to dehydrate really fast so this is three quarters down now which is really good i'm just going to get my towel <clears throat> so organized today this is going pretty good it is it's actually hit the bottom of my container and i've got a line here of where the water level was when we started so we're going to see what happens this is nearly finished soaking that has completely turned dark and it's very heavy. So I'll pull that out. That soaked up half that tub of water. Look, well, there's the line. So that's actually really heavy now. I mean, this stuff is amazing to work with. You just don't want to touch it. So I'm going to fill that up to the line again and we'll put the agra wool in and we'll see what happens. Hopefully I've got enough water. I might have to run in and grab some more. Yep. Okay. So that's, that Oasis did one of those jugs and I think it's going to be another one. I'll just run in and grab some more. Anyway. Okay. We're back. 
I've got the water <laughs> that I didn't prepare earlier. Well, I tried, but not enough. Let's hope I've got enough. Right, great. It's up to that line. Let's put this in. See what happens. Let's see. Oh, wow. So it's actually just sinking straight away. Uh, it is amazingly fast. So it makes me think that um, it's not as dense because the water's getting in there a lot quicker. I did have a look at how to soak this, but I didn't find instructions. So there's not a lot about it. So it's actually right on the bottom. Um, I might flip it over because I'm not really sure. Ooh, it's very heavy. Very heavy. Okay, just leave that there for a second. What I'm going to do is just move this to the side a little bit. Just pop that there. And it'll still wet my table, but it's fine. We are going to do an arrangement in, in a minute and see what happens. Okay, so I, I mean, to be fair, let's just give this a little bit longer, but I can't see that water level going down anymore. So it doesn't seem to be absorbing anything else. Let's just see. Well, we'll pull it out. We'll see what happens. Oh, it's so heavy. And it's a bit fragile. Okay, we'll let the water drain. <clears throat> it has absorbed a fair bit. Possibly n not as much, maybe it has. But it's tipping back out. So, I'm not sure. I want to do the cut test. It's going to be very hard if it's just leaking water everywhere. Anyway, let's do the same thing we did with this one. Just leave it on the towel, see what happens. And we'll do our cut test because it is so satisfying to cut Oasis. The Oasis. For those who cut Oasis, it, it is one of the most satisfying things. It feels like cutting through very, just like cheese or something. I don't know, but it feels so good. So I'm going to do a close up on this because it is pretty fun. I'll do the, maybe I'll do the long shot first and then I'll do, it's just like, like butter or something. Okay, are we ready? So let's have a look. <clears throat> There's actually a pocket where it didn't soak properly, even though we followed the instructions. So there you go. Very easy to cut. It feels really good to cut. Anyway, I'm going to put this aside. Uh, the other thing is with this, you can dry it, dry it out and use it again. So if I didn't use the whole block, I can just dry that out store it and use it later or if i've used an arrangement unless it's completely poked to death from the stems you can dry it out and use it again so there is the oasis now we're going to go and do the cut test on the agra wool it does feel like it's it's not leaking anymore which for me that's really how i need to use it i guess if it's in a jar or something be a little bit different but in the boxes I just use a piece of cellophane under so I can't really have it filling with water so anyway let's let's do this see how it goes oh you can't cut it like the oasis you have to actually cut it like this okay let's see you really can't just push down on it like you do with the oasis it needs to be kind of cut like so yep <clears throat> it's very fibrous as you can see it's not the same feeling as cutting oasis and even though i'd hoped it would be i knew it wouldn't so i think if you're doing using this in a vase or something it's going to be really good if you're planning on having lots of water in with it the wind's picked up Let's set this up. I'm going to do, let's do the Oasis first and then we'll do the Agra wool. So I've got my glove back on because um, it freaks me out a little bit. 
So I'll just grab some paper. Now this agro wall is just still leaking water everywhere. Oh my gosh. And sort of a milky kind of looking substance. Like maybe that's going to, that's probably just the rock salts, but maybe that's something to be aware of. I wonder how that's going to go in a clear vessel if it's going to murk up the I don't know if you can see that, if it's going to murk up the vessel. Let's just pop some flowers in and we'll see how they go. Let's try some eucalyptus first. We'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going into the oasis just as, as normal, it's very easy. I'll find a similar piece to go. Um, this is a similar thickness. Let's pop this in, see how it goes. It is much harder to push, push in. Honestly, it really does make me think of making a flower arrangement in a piece of house insulation. That's really what it feels like. Oh, it's actually really, really hard to pop it in. So I don't think this is going to be for everybody, but I would prefer to use it because I don't, we don't really even want to use plastic on our farm. We don't use plastic flower netting. We've made wire ones. We don't use plastic weed mat. We just let the weeds grow. We really are trying to reduce plastic. And I know that in a huge way, we've reduced heaps by not using the plastic flower mesh and the plastic weed control things on the farm. So I know we're already 10 steps ahead. And I use a tiny little bit of cellophane just as a, just to keep, you know, the water. Well, it's going to ruin the water from the floral foam would totally ruin my cardboard boxes if I didn't do that. So I'm just going to do something really simple here. Look, we've tried it with the eucalyptus. It's got very hard stems so they're kind of easy to push in this one is a little bit more delicate the stems and just a little bit tiny but the thing is I'm chopping it from up here so let's see how it goes so this is into the oasis and that's easy peasy let's just try it into the floral foam Not, not as fun, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, what else have I got in here? I've got another one. It's um, It's got a similar stem, so we, we don't need to trial that. Okay, let's pop zinnias. Zinnias are a bit tricky because their stems, I find, are not as stable as you might hope. So going into the floral foam, I do find zinnias even a bit tricky to pop in a floral foam, so let's pop a similar looking one, probably this one, into the, we'll pop, I've done a fresh cut, so it's got a nice, hopefully sharpish edge, let's see, I could see myself crushing stems getting things in okay let's go let's get some cosmos i'll um just poke a few more flowers in on camera and then i'll speed things up uh, see that that can be really tricky even getting cosmos into floral foam you've got to be careful 
I'll pop a similar one into the, well, this one's got a few heads on it. So there's one that's sort of, I'll cut it off, it's sort of dying. A nice fresh one and two buds. So let's see if they open up. The Cosmos actually went in really easy to there. I am going to trial the <clears throat> foxglove in the agrofoam, agro wool, because it's actually quite hard to get it down into the oasis. It is really hard to get. It is really, really hard to get the foxglove into the agro agro wool. Um, but I think over time you'd get used to it, so you would just become good at that. I love these leaves because they look like stars. They're so pretty. I don't know how they're going to go in the agro wall. I'm going to grab some more. Okay, let's pop some in the agro wall and see what happens. And I better work on that arrangement a little bit. They're not going to show up as much because I've got the green paper. But let's see. Oh, I don't think I'm... Oh, here they go. You've almost... Because it's sort of a woven thing, like it seems to be kind of woven in layers, you've got to kind of push it through the layers and it's like going like that. I wonder if... I had turned it sideways so the layers were running this way it might have been easier to poke things in I'm just not sure it would have held together as well I think it would eventually kind of start splitting it is actually annoyingly hard to get things in I guess the good thing is it doesn't matter when your fingers touch it like I've made a hole there but because I'm working so hard to try to get that through it's actually, oh, I don't, I'm not going to get that in any further. I've noticed as well so far, you, you need to cut the stems shorter because you can't get them in as far. Okay, I might pull this one out and trim it. Okay, that's a bit easier. Okay. If you don't want to watch this, just fast forward to where I've got up on the screen and follow up on how these flowers performed in the agro wool. I think it's holding up well though. I imagined it to be a little bit... I imagined it to be less stable. So this is really good. Nope, wrong way. Let's go that way. It's not as forgiving if you pull the flower out and stick it back in. The hole just stays there, like a big gaping hole, which isn't good. That zinnia went in really good. These have got nice, thick, hard stems on them, these zinnias, though. The other thing about floral foam rather than just water is if you've got a bit of foliage left down there, it doesn't matter because it's not going to dirty up the water. And it kind of adds a little bit of stability, which I think is helping. Okay, I think that'll do. So this is going. This has got a little collection of everything. It's got some zinnias, cosmos. It's got some foxglove that's still yet to open. It's got status, which we're not going to see much of a difference if it dries out. We've got the very juvenile eucalyptus. It will look terrible if it dries out early. Well, not terrible but it just looks old and dried out we've got the little the leaves not little but the, li the leaves off the tree the eucalypt leaves uh, so let's just see how this goes the floral foam is so cheap if i buy that from the wholesaler it's under a dollar uh, a brick and i can do three of these arrangements with one brick because i cut it into three so it is so 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 cheap um I just bought one brick from a store in town and that was $2.50. So even at $2.50, it's really, really cheap. Whereas the Agra wool was about $5 for the brick. Um, and I ha that's from the wholesaler. So I haven't found that any cheaper 
maybe it comes down to about four dollars sixty if i buy a big bulk lot of bricks uh, which i didn't do I, I just bought a couple i just buy a couple at a time so um the price point is very different so it probably means for my customers we, we may have to add just a small additional fee for the use of it, which sucks because how often does it happen when something that's better for you or better for the environment then costs you more? It really sucks. Like you've really got to be committed to do that. I'd love to know what you think, whether I should just absorb the cost and just put aggregable in everything or what you do. The other thing is, as we've seen, it is harder to work with. Hello, I'm back and it's been four days, so we're having a look at this. I, I would say that the, <clears throat> the agri wool has probably dried out now, so we're just going to have a look at that. So I've pulled the agri wool out. Um, it's, it's still moist. Yeah, it's kind of dry. As long as customers are going to keep up the water to this, it'll be fine. Uh, but it's not the same as the floral foam where it can go for more than a week and still kind of stay moist. So here's where the flowers, here's how they look. So it's definitely starting to look, the cosmos would be starting to look a bit, that one's very, um, since opened. Um, the status is not going to look bad because it's just going to dry. Interestingly, the tansy has flopped. I do think I could possibly reuse it though. Like if I pull some things out of it. So this is how it looks after. I don't think it's too bad. I really didn't feel that packed full either though. Um, I think if you turn it over, you could reuse it. So I'm gonna let that dry out and see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. Been waiting for this agri wool to turn up so that I could see how it worked and compare it a little bit. And I hope this helps you. There hasn't been much out there about agri wool for us to watch ourselves. So thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment if you've got a question or a comment or you've noticed something that I could do better. Please let me know. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.